glasses on, sir. The sun is out today. I know. It's not my favorite either. But we gotta deal with it. Where's our phone? Did we forget our whole... <coughs> choking on saliva. Forgot our whole lives again today. Mr. Skeleton, here we go. Hey, everyone. It is another day... Or wait. It is our first day holiday decor hunting with me and good old Mr. Skeleton. So if you're with us Halloween decor hunting, this is kind of a similar schematic. Oh God, hold on. But before we continue cruising around looking for holiday decorations, I wanted to mention the sponsor for today's video, which is Squarespace. And I'll have more information about Squarespace at the end of this video. So if you wanna find out more about Squarespace, stay tuned for that. If you're new here to holiday decor hunting, what that entails pretty much is me driving around to a bunch of different stores and showing you what's out there. All the different holiday decor, all the different themes. I call it holiday because we see a whole bunch of different decorations. We mainly see Christmas but I know for some people you decorate just a winter wonderland or we do see some Hanukkah decorations out there so I'll show those I show a little bit of everything anything we're seeing out there I'll show it my personal style is I'm always looking for some darker holiday decor I like the black and white and silver vibe that is my vibe but I'll show everything so if you like colorful I'm gonna show colorful if, if you like classic holiday vibes I'm gonna show that but for me personally I'm looking for the black white and silver stuff the darker, the better. And if you're like, well, you have Halloween for that. I know, but my Halloween decor is so different from my holiday decor. And, and actually, if you haven't seen the holiday decor in the past, my decorate with me videos, I'll link those in the description box for you so you can get a visual of what I mean by darker holiday. Um, if, if, you're, if you wanna see it, I and mean, if you don't wanna see it, no big deal. But if you wanted to check it out and be like, what does she mean? That's, I'll show you. Right now, you know what we're doing? <laughs> you know where we're going because it's 10 41 in the morning you know where we're going we're going to freaking starbucks y'all oh my god the line uh it's friday y'all uh 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 that's painful i no uh-uh we're just gonna have to go to the next starbucks this is no absolutely not and do not run over me so it is currently i'm not gonna lie <laughs> It is currently October 28th. <laughs> I know. And if you're like, ghoul, it should be against the law to go holiday decor hunting in October. What are you thinking? This is your time. You love Halloween. What is going on? Are you sick? Are you all right? Should we send help? The answer is probably. But <laughs> hear me out. So I know at this point, if I want to see a full selection, like every single collection of everything at, at home for the holidays, I have to go in October. But my possible reward for going to at home right now was I might see some Halloween clearance. I don't know if they're clearancing it yet. What are you doing? What is happening with drivers today? The universe is punishing me for going holiday decor hunting in October. The Halloween spirits are trying to stop me today, y'all. They're saying, not today, Santa. <laughs> and also, I was gonna put a Santa hat on Mr. Skeleton, but we're not doing that till November. We are refusing. All right, I'm not even joking. I was in there for almost an hour. It was literally just pristine. This is why I go in October, because if you watched last year, it was a disaster in there. Empty shelves, things broken, things all over the floor. And in there right now, it looks pristine and beautiful. Let's talk about what we saw at home. There's a lot to see. They had a whole lot of different themes. The first collection I saw was this. It's kind of gold and had owls. Maybe like a light teal or lighter, pretty greenish color like this really cool gold lantern thing that had it was kind of like a I don't even know how to describe it it was really cool and they had they had glass trees with gold accents they had I want to say they had a Santa in this area like one of those Santas with a fancy outfit on and just lots of really pretty I don't know golds and greens and creams just, was there a crown I think they also had some little peacocks in this area like a little snow globe and something, I think maybe just this little statue. And were there deer in this area? Was that a different area? 
regardless, they had a lot of really pretty stuff in this little line. I don't even know what collection it was. It didn't even say on uh, the thing. Like the other ones had uh, like Elfing Around or Mrs. Claus's Bakery. But this one didn't have a, a label on it. It was just really pretty though. Um, and I'll just continue to show all the little pieces from this collection because it was all really pretty. It's really, really pretty. Probably one of my favorite collections at, at home this year. And then uh, there was another area that had more of like a, they had something similar last year. I think her name was something Mitchell, Grace Mitchell, something like that. It was like a collaboration and it was more of like a partridge and a pear tree kind of vibe. So, and I, and I think they had the pillow with the birds and they had some trees. And once again, like a lot of them had similar elements in each collection. They just had different color schemes. This one had more burgundies and greens and I think there was also gold in this area as well, uh, but it was very, very pretty, um, but it was very kind of traditional Christmas, like very traditional, but almost a little gaudy as well. So another line they had was this uh, Elfin Around line, lots of peppermint, in your face Christmas, green and red and white, uh, but also lots of peppermint stuff. So they had like a peppermint candle looking thing. They had the kind of peppermint looking trees, various different peppermint trees. So they had the little ones that look like kind of like clay and they had the cone trees, the peppermint cone trees and then trees with different bulbs and uh, all in the same kind of color scheme. And then of course, all sorts of tabletop decor, different signs that say different things. I think they had a big sign that said, ho, ho, ho. So lots of different, just mainly peppermint and red, greens, and whites. And then of course, all the ornaments matched this whole theme. So all the ornaments had, I think there was like a peppermint snowflake ornament that was really cool. Peppermint suckers and candy canes and of course elves, uh, cause that's the whole theme of this line, but lots of in your face Christmas in this line. Anyways, they also had the Mrs. Claus's bakery back this year. I believe they had that last year as well. And let me just tell you, the ornaments are so cute in this area. They had this big cotton candy ornament. And then they had different, like a little pink glittery, kind of twinkly light looking one. A little gingerbread, or I think maybe sugar cookie people. And little, I think oven mitts and like little cute little bakery things. Everything was around the bakery idea so cute lots of pastel colors so light pinks light blues it's like a cutesy bakery theme they had this mrs claus doll that was a little creepy i'm not gonna lie and then they had little gingerbread houses but they were kind of more sugar cookie vibes so instead of being brown they were more of like a sugar cookie look and had all the pastel colors and then they had this like cone tree thing that was like a waffle cone that kind of wrapped up and little tabletop decor that said various things like mrs claus's bakery or maybe that was a sign that said that but regardless they had different tabletop decor they had little gumdrop tea light candles and just really cute stuff in this area lots of pastel very cutesy um they also had little bottles like little they looked like little milk bottles uh but this area was so cute it was so cute and they also had a whole gingerbread area that had all gingerbread houses they had big gingerbread houses they had little gingerbread houses i think they even had a gingerbread trailer or maybe that was the sugar cookie trailer but I think there was a gingerbread trailer. They had gingerbread lanterns, but mainly in this area, it was a lot of gingerbread houses with kind of the peppermint look on the outside. Uh, but they had all these really pretty gingerbread houses. I feel like at home has some of the prettier gingerbread houses I've seen. Home goods is pretty good too. So they home goods and at home have the best gingerbread houses if you're looking for that kind of thing. Anyways, they have the whole gingerbread line. So another line we saw was a whole winter wonderland line with all whites and silvers polar bears uh were there foxes in there i can't remember but all sorts of deer they had white deer they had glittery deer they had uh, silver deer in this area lots of deer all over the place and they also had a lot of polar bears like different fuzzy looking polar bears some were sleeping some were just standing up and uh, other various creatures in this area. And they even had a winter wonderland creature stack 
We saw the farm stack, if you remember, at Home Goods this year during Halloween season. Well, now there's a Winter Wonderland creature stack, and I got all excited about it. Um, they also had some lanterns and lots of trees, cone trees, glass trees, all the different types of trees in this area. And then, of course, different tabletop decor that says, oh, I don't even remember what else it said, Noel, Joy, all the different holiday things. And then of course they had the ornaments that matched everything. Ornaments had polar bears. They also had acrylic snowflakes. And I think there was even an acrylic sleigh. Lots of pretty stuff like that. Um, but just in general, this is one of my favorite lines and it gets picked over really quickly every year uh, because it's just, I feel like it just goes with everything. But whatever I'm missing in this area, I'll continue to show because they had such pretty stuff. Trees, deer, lots of furry little creatures everywhere. And uh, it was just so pretty. And they also had a whole gold area that had gold deer, like the gold glittery deer, and then the big gold metallic deer. Lots of tabletop decor that said things like joy, Merry Christmas, Noel, and all the Santas had all the gold outfits going, uh, and just all the different kind of things. But whatever I missed, because there was a lot, like they had a lot of different things like crowns and um, sleighs and angels and all the things happening they had a whole of course farmhouse line and it was a literal farmhouse line like full-on cow decor like there was a cow figurine in there lots of gnomes in this area as well uh, with all the plaid and the buffalo print all sorts of decor I think there was like a big sign that said joy with buffalo print on it and they had deer and I think there was even a goose in there uh, or a duck or something happening in this area and there was an actual light up barn that they had in there as well and then they had a bunch of farmhouse looking Santas lots of plaid Santas or lumberjack Santas in this area so anything else in the farmhouse area I'll show here and they also had just a bunch of different Santas and angels all in different colors depending on your color scheme and just in general I'll just show them in general but they had like a whole area that had Santas and angels and all that kind of stuff they also had a bunch of nutcrackers nutcrackers doing just about anything and everything you can think of they had classic looking nutcrackers that were silver or gold or red or you know all the kind of classic looking nutcrackers but then they had like a full-on yoga Santa the, the the yoga situation has moved past skeletons and we're now into Santa mode so there was like a yoga Santa all different types of nutcrackers in all the different color schemes there's also a whole line that was kind of a nutcracker line like it had this really pretty pastel pink and gold and maybe white I think in there maybe some really really pale mint it looks like a nutcracker Esque, like ballerinas, nutcrackers, that kind of feel to it. They had really pretty trees and wreaths, and just once again, pink, gold, and I want to say white, but it was really, really pretty though. So, anything I'm forgetting in this area, it was kind of a small area, but anything I'm forgetting, I'll show here. And of course, last but not least, they had the huge blow up stuff, the outdoor blow up stuff. They had Elf, they had the snowman, they had Santa, all the different blow up things, and I think that's all we saw at, at home. I think that's it. Oh, Mr. Skeleton, it's colder than a witch's titty out there. We're not ready. Great. I feel like a businesswoman in this jacket with my shoulder pads. We're going business casual today, Mr. Skeleton. We've worn nothing but pajamas for the last week and a half. So we're going big with the shoulders. All right, hey everyone, it is another day. Holiday decor hunting with me and good old Mr. Skeleton. Mr. Skeleton, I keep forgetting to grab your Santa hat. I forget every time. Anyways, we're back out on the hunt. Um, and I feel like I'm serving today with these shoulder pads. I feel like I'm serving, you know, on Christmas vacation, the neighbor, Margo. I don't know, Margo, you know? If you know, you know. I feel like I'm serving Margo today representing bringing the Christmas spirit which actually Dallas and I always joke that we are Margo and Todd like we are those people in our neighborhood because we're like the only people without kids and uh, also we don't really put out a ton of lights or anything we decorate outside for Halloween 
but we don't put out a lot of stuff for Christmas because honestly, like, I just never get the motivation to go out and decorate in the freezing cold. So anyways, we always say we're with the Margo and Todd in our neighborhood, even though no one's told us that or, you know, all of our neighbors are really nice, but we just like laugh about it because we feel like we're them. Anyways, we're back out on the holiday hunt. Like we haven't even really gotten to holiday hunt. Like we went to at home and, and if you can tell, I still sound terrible. I had this horrible cold slash, I don't know what that was, body aches, chills, um, couldn't even lift my head off the pillow, major congestion, sinus pressure, felt like absolute garbage. It's been like a week and a half now. So I sound terrible, but I feel fine. I, I'm, I'm over it. I'm, I'm moving on with my life. Anyways, so we're cruising. We're going to a couple places today. We're easing into it, like I said, because I had the plague for 3,000 years and I got to ease into it. I got to build up my stamina again. And not just that, I also have to get back home because I am about a week behind in videos because of this freaking sickness. But wait, hold on. I'm going into Starbucks and there's not a soul here. We're getting a holiday drink. What are we getting, Jade? Let's talk about it. Hi, welcome to Starbucks. What can I get started for you? I guess, can I get a tall peppermint mocha, please? Look at this cute little holiday cup. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. So anyways, we're going back to at home. And we were just there. We saw the whole collection, I thought. But there's a whole collection, this Layla Ali. There's a whole collection and it's all black and white. Like my whole aesthetic for Christmas. And there's deer and penguins and all this stuff. Like deer bust. Like all this stuff. Black and white nutcrackers. And we didn't see it there. Not one thing. We saw every other collection. So I don't know where it's at. I don't know if we missed it somewhere. I don't know what's going on but we're gonna go check it out again. We're gonna go see if we can track it down and find it. It's 34 degrees right now. Oh my God, it's freaking freezing, Mr. Skeleton. So we're headed right now to, where are we going, Mr. Skeleton? At home, and we're gonna go see if we can't find this Layla Ali collection, and we better find it. I need to see black and white holiday decor is what I need to see today. But I wanted to go out because every weekend that passes and every weekend that we get closer to Thanksgiving, I know people already have their trees up now. They've got all their Christmas stuff up. I still have all my Halloween up, so I don't even know what this world is. Like, I don't know what's going on, how people get their Halloween down so fast and get their holidays up so quick. I'm like, what is going on? I'm over here, still got full on graveyard in my living room and <laughs> right mr skeleton and people have got their christmas trees up so anyways we're gonna oh my god it's so busy it is 12 14. i feel like some people come during their lunch break we're here we've arrived we're at at home we're going in jeez that wind is freaking cold Whew. the wind today is on another level if my hair looks like it is out of control it's because it is what is going on with the wind? It almost makes your brain freeze up for a second. And oh my God. Oh, oh. I'm making soup for dinner. We're going, we're, we're making a stop. We found the Layla Ali collection. We found it. It was way over in a whole other section, like completely away from all the other Christmas stuff. But they had several black and white pieces and I did some damage in there, I'm not gonna lie. They had a whole deer head bust thing that I was looking for in there. And uh, it was 30 freaking dollars though. <sighs> but you know I got it. It was ceramic, so I'll give it that. I do like a good ceramic piece. Uh, they also had various deer. They had a uh, deer with some uh, silver antlers. They had little deer, deer laying down. This year I'm kind of wanting to incorporate some more of the woodland stuff and the village and some trees and stuff like that I think is where my mind went with it while I was there. Anyways, they had some of those creepy looking elf things. 
uh, that were in the black and white theme. And it was a lot of black and white and silver. So exactly what I look for in my home. They also have kind of some glass, like frosted glass candle holders, not little votive ones, but actual bigger ones for candles that had branchy trees on them. And they had a white one with black branchy trees and a little black one with silver branchy trees, I think. Um, and they also had some various tabletop decor. So silvers, they did have some golds in here too. Uh, they had a wall decor piece that looked like an ornament. It was black and white stripes, said Mary and Bright on it, I think. And it was gold, black and white. They also had a gold, black and white accent rug that said like, I think happy holidays or something on it. And what else did they have? What else? Oh, they had these trees, these bedazzled looking trees that were kind of the cone trees. You know what I'm going to say. Every, every time I talk about these cones, cone trees, every year I mention the quote from, from Wedding Singer when he's like, they were cones every time, every time. So we saw some cone trees again this year and they were black and glittery, bedazzly. They were magical and lots of just different, you know, like wintry. It was kind of like a winter wonderland. Although there were some creepy elves in there. They also had some ornaments I was all excited about because every year I want to add some ornaments to my black and white tree. Anyways, they had these ornaments. I was all excited about them. They were black and white striped, almost like candy cane striped, but they're black and white. Anything else I saw in this area, I'll show here. Anyway, so now we're headed to Bath and Body Works. I'm hoping it's not too crazy because it looks like freaking Black Friday out here right now. Everywhere is packed, like all the way back, and it is so cold. I don't know why anyone's outside. I thought today for sure, because today's the first really cold day, like 36 degrees, it's been kind of in the 60s for the most part and there were a couple days that were in the 80s and now it's in like 36 degrees and windy and chilly and like it's gonna it like whips you in the face just like slaps you around oh my gosh it looks like freaking black friday around here it is oh my god a nightmare okay person back out this is literally my worst nightmare anyways we're here at bath and body works we're going in <laughs> bah humbug All right, hand sanitizer on. All right, so I think that's the last stop for the day. There's just a lot of people out right now. And that place was slammed. And it's already a really small store. But everyone there is so nice. It was a holiday extravaganza in there. They had buy one, get one candles. Had a 25% off or something. And a free body care item or something. I don't know. I saved like 50 bucks in there. I'm not even mad at it. And I can barely smell anything because you know, but we were in there smelling. What did we see at Bath and Body Works? They had a bunch of Christmas everywhere. They had some, you're not going to believe the first thing I saw when we walked in the door. First thing we saw, gnomes y'all. We saw gnomes and there, there were gnome pedestals. And okay, here's the thing. And maybe y'all are going to hate me. And that's all right, too, if you do. But I don't dislike gnome. I don't personally decorate with a lot of gnomes, but I don't dislike them for Christmas slash holiday, whatever, decor. I don't hate it. I think gnomes belong in Christmas time. So I'm not as irritated by the gnomes during Christmas time. Doesn't mean I'm decorating with all gnomes. You're not going to see a full mantle of gnomes this year, y'all. But um, it just means I'm slightly less irritated with the gnomes because I feel like they belong in Christmas time or the holiday season. You know what I mean? Does anyone else feel like that? I feel like I'm not as mad at it. Like they don't irritate me when I see them. I'm like, oh, this makes sense. Where like every other freaking holiday when I see gnomes, I'm like, what the, what is happening? Oh, there's a guy with a bloody handprint, uh, kind of window decal thing. And I'm loving it. Mr. Skeleton, we found our people. Anyways, so what do we see? Gnomes. That's what we we're talking about. Anyways, they had these gnome pedestals and they were these velvet gnome pedestals. They had a red one, a green one, and a hot pink one. And then they had a little A-frame kind of lodgy looking house pedestal that was really cute. Had little snow on it. Was it gingerbread looking? I don't know, but it was really cute. And then, you know, of course they had the full spread of all the Christmas candles with all the different scents. Let me know your favorite scents down in the comments. My favorite holiday scents, I love the holiday one. It's just called holiday. 
It's got cinnamon, nutmeg. It is a spicy situation and I love it. Anyways, before I get too ahead of myself, they had some other pedestals. They had one that was this nutcracker. It was a white and gold, really pretty nutcracker pedestal. They had a pedestal with a snowflake inside. I didn't see one that was turned on, but I believe the snowflake kind of rotates inside of the globe. It's like a snow globe and the snow kind of flies around. And they had a, was it a snowman? It was a snowman, I think, like a glittery snowman. They also had another snow globe one that had a little house in there, like a little, like little cottage thing. And they had a gingerbread pedestal looking thing that had little gingerbread people around it. They had a couple of sleeves, like, you know, the, the candle sleeves that were bedazzled. I don't know, but I'll show them here. Um, they also had some soap dispenser holders. One was a snowman, I want to say, and the other one was a Santa that was holding snowflakes. And their plugins this year were super cute. They had one that was a Santa holding a martini glass. It's like a Santa hand holding a martini glass. They had a tree, like kind of like a Christmassy looking tree thing. They had a couple of Christmas tree looking ones. And then they had a reindeer one that had little lights that were going through the antlers. They had a, was there an elf one? They had a Santa, once again, that was holding the snowflakes. And they had um, uh, the cars with the trees on top. And then they had a dreidel one that was really pretty. It was kind of like a bedazzled dreidel. And then they also had one, I think it was a lantern. And it was a, a pink lantern that was really pretty. Kind of looked old school. Uh, they had a red velvet nutcracker plug-in that was really pretty. And, uh, oh, they had a house, like a cottage looking house that lit up and it had, I think Santa inside or something. And then it has a projector on the wall. I didn't see what it looked like plugged in, but I believe that one has a projector. They had a bunch of different ones. Oh, they had a little mouse. That's what it was. It was like this little velvet mouse with a little mistletoe, I think. And any of the ones I'm missing, I'll continue to show here because they had a bunch of different plugins. They also had some hand sanitizer holders. They had a Santa one, a, was it a penguin? I know there was a penguin for the spray, the hand sanitizer spray. I thought there was another one. And then they had a couple other ones I'll show here. And they had all the plug-in, or not plug-in, the hand sanitizer scents and everything. Uh, anyways, that's what we saw at Bath and Body Works. If I'm missing anything, I'll show it here. I don't think I'm missing anything though. I think that's pretty much it. And there was a lot to see. I like their collection this year. So um, we're getting a late start this year, but it looks good. Oh, oh, oh Mr. Skeleton. It's freaking freezing. Holy moly. It is not 49 degrees. Maybe in my garage, but outside it's freaking freezing. Hey everyone, it is another day. Holiday decor hunting with me and good old Mr. Skeleton. We still haven't found his Santa hat. So we might have to get him one at Wally World today while we're there. So today we're going to, uh, I think this is gonna be our last day of this video. And then tomorrow I'm gonna go out, uh, I almost said Halloween decor hunting. I wish, I wish. Holiday decor hunting. We're gonna go back out tomorrow, but it'll be in the next holiday decor hunting video. So uh, today's gonna be our last day for this video. We're cruising to Aldi, cause it is Wednesday, which means Aldi has all their new stuff that they come out with on Wednesdays, at least in my area. I think some areas it's Sunday, but here it's Wednesday. And then we're gonna cruise over to Walmart and we're gonna see if Walmart has anything. And if you're like, cool, why haven't you gone to Home Goods yet? What is wrong with you? Are you okay? Are you sick? Well, you know, I've been sick. So yes, technically no, but yes. Which it's been two weeks and I'm still freaking congested. Like, I don't understand how it's been two weeks. Like, I feel fine. Again, I feel great. I'm back feeling 100% other than I can't breathe through my nose. I don't know what it is. I don't really care at this point. I gotta move on with my life. I don't have time for this and there's nowhere to park at Aldi today and it is freaking freezing out and um it's literally 31 degrees it says outside <laughs> anyways we're here at Aldi we're going and here we go Thank sunglasses are stuck in my hair Mr. Skeleton sanitizer we don't need more sickness even though this didn't work last time 
We still have faith in you, hand sanitizer. <laughs> Don't let us down. Oh, God. Okay, we just left Aldi. They had Christmas. Anyways, they had some holiday stuff. I don't know if I got all of it. I have no idea what I even got. First of all, they had some gnomes, so let's get that out of the way. They did have some ceramic gnomes holding trees, and the little Christmas trees lit up. They also had really pretty tree candles. It's like glass trees, but you take off the top of the tree and it's a candle. They had these really cute cookie jars. One was white, one was red. Then they had this little Christmas tree at the top that lit up. That was really cute. They also had this cute little cake stand that had a little Santa that was holding a tree and it lit up as well. Uh, they had these houses that this could go with some darker decor pieces. They had some ceramic houses that were white and they had black roofs on them and or roofs, whatever. I call it a roof, so sue me. Anyways, so it had a black roof on it and you could spray paint it black, the whole house black or keep the black and white vibe if you like a black and white vibe. They had some metal houses. They had a white one that was like an A-frame one. They had a silver one. I didn't see any black ones that they said they had them online, but I didn't see them in person. So they did have some metal houses. But anyway, they also had, oh, what else did they have? They also had some rugs that one said Merry Christmas. One had snowflakes on it. Did they have another rug that I'm missing? They also had some lanterns. They had some silver lanterns, red lanterns. They had a couple different lanterns with little tree cutouts and various things, like little winter wonderland looking things. They had, um, oh, what else did they have that I liked? Oh, they had these trees, flock trees. They had two, like a, a set of two, three foot tall trees. And then they had one five foot tall tree. And uh, they had like a little bucket at the bottom, kind of farmhouse style, but I feel like you could easily paint that bucket black and it would just be normal. And then what else did I see? They had some blankets. They had some cable knit blankets. They were red and green. I think they had like a cranberry color. And then they also had some fleecy blankets. So, you know, I had to get one for Neens. You'll see it in the upcoming holiday decor haul. Um, but they had one that was a gnome blanket. And they had another one that was a little gingerbread person blanket. Um, so they had a couple of blankets. And I think they were like six bucks or something. Like that. The price was really good on those. I want to say that's about what we saw. Anything else I'm missing, though, I'll show here. I'm sure there's some other stuff that I missed. And I'll show all that here. Oh, I know what it is. When we walked in, I saw some signs, like some outdoor signs, or I don't know, I guess you could use them indoor. They were just standing signs that said different things, like be merry or uh, Noel, joy to the world. I don't know if that's what it said, but they had different sayings and they were kind of the big, tall standing sign. And I want to say that's about it. But yeah, once again, I'll show everything that I've totally forgot about. I'll show here. Not a lot of dark Christmas decor. I'm not going to lie. They did have potential stuff uh, like the black and white house. I feel like has potential. I feel like you could easily spray paint maybe one of the metal houses if you wanted to go there. Uh, but uh, they did have some okay stuff. Just not all of it was my exact taste, but that's all right. That's all right. We're here at Wally World and we're going to give this a shot. Okay, I'm going in to Walmart. Here we go. All right, it is freaking freezing out. Luckily, it means that some of the groceries I got will be fine in the back, but it's freaking freezing. 35 degrees it says, but it feels colder than that. Let's check to see what it feels like. It says 28 degrees feels like 18. 18, y'all. Got Mr. Skeleton some festive, some festive things, didn't we, Mr. Skeleton? Do we have scissors in here? I don't know that we have scissors in here. Wait, I don't think we need scissors. There we go. We figured it out. Gotta be smarter than the packaging, Mr. Skeleton. Okay, first thing we got him is this Grinch hat headband. Let's try it on, sir. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Wait, wait. We might have to tape it on, sir. We might have to tape it on. Nope. Fits perfectly, Mr. Skeleton. What do you all think of Mr. Skeleton's new Grinch hat? So that's option number one. Option number two, you guys can vote down in the comments. <laughs> Option number two is, all right, sir, let's take this one off. 
this elf hat that I found. This elf hat with the elf ears. And I thought this could be cute. Mr. Skeleton, what do you think? It doesn't really look like an elf hat. We might need to put some tissue in there or something so it sticks up, you know what I mean? But look at the ears. Mr. Skeleton. Wait. The elf ears. What do you think, Mr. Skeleton? I kind of like the Grinch hat. You guys tell me what you like down in the comments. We can swap out throughout the season. Okay, Mr. Skeleton. <laughs> Okay, anyways, just left Walmart, and what did we even see at Walmart? Do we even know? Do we remember? So I will say this about Walmart. They had some really cute ceramic stuff, like cookie jar kind of things, bakeware kind of things. The cookie jars, though, they had one that was a Santa, and then there was one that was a Christmas tree with the little dog, and I think there was a snowman, and then what was the other one? snowman and there was something else I think but they had some really cute cookie jars also little baking dishes little uh, what do you call it measuring spoons little ceramic measuring spoons and measuring cups and, um, and another thing that was really cute was this drink dispenser it was a red tree it was like a glass tree drink dispenser that was really cute I think it was only I think they wanted 20 bucks for that I feel like that wasn't bad at all for how big that thing was and it was gorgeous and they had uh, other various drinkware ceramic wear bakeware kind of stuff in this area whatever I'm missing I'll show here but I thought that this was the highlight of what I saw at Walmart was the really cute dishware and ceramic wear and stuff that's just me though. Then I kind of crossed over into the decorations. They had some signs. Once in Merry Christmas, it was kind of a vintage vibe. I, I love those little vintage looking deer. I don't know if anyone else likes those. And they had a couple more signs. One said Happy Holidays. One said Merry Christmas. And um, just a couple of signs, like wall decor kind of things. They also had a Flemmy the Flamingo, y'all. Flemmy himself made an appearance during Christmas, y'all. Uh, there was a Flemmy the Flamingo little kind of garland looking guy and uh, he had a little, I almost said witch hat on, but it was a little Santa hat. It was really cute. Oh my gosh, there's a ton of cops here. I wonder what's going on at the UPS store. Um, but really cute. And then they had a little cactus and a couple of little garlandy looking things like I think there was a dinosaur, that kind of stuff. Walked down this whole aisle with a bunch of ornaments. And I kind of got the general visuals of the ornaments, um, but there was just a lot of different stuff to choose from. Different colors, different, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, they did have a black and white stocking, so I did see something that was black in there. Okay, and then we got into the actual decorations, like the actual collections that they have. There was like a whole section that had whites and golds and silver in there. I can't remember, but... There were uh, some glittery reindeer that were really pretty. One was a little baby, uh, but it was like a really pretty line, whatever it was. Lots of glittery bedazzlements, lots of stuff like that. Then they had some larger kind of wooden cutout looking pieces that were in the form of trees. And then they also had uh, an outdoor sign that said something. And then they had a snowman and it was like a whole red and white kind of theme they had another theme that was kind of a mix between vintage and farmhouse and i had i don't know i don't know if it was supposed to be that way um so anyways we saw this kind of farmhouse vintage combination they had the red truck little houses they had trees they had a bunch of stuff like that and then they had uh, also these little deer vintage looking deer. They also had a Santa that had a list and they also had a peppermint looking line that had a peppermint looking gingerbread house and a peppermint colored nutcracker and what else did they have? They, uh, they also had these deer that had these candy canes as antlers but it was more of this kind of peppermint red and white theme. And then they also had this black and white theme and there wasn't a whole lot there in this area. They did have the Santa and they had the nutcrackers that we saw last year, the black and white nutcrackers. They did have those. 
don't know, it was black and white, but it also once again had kind of that farmhouse feel to it. So it was like a combination of kind of like a wooden vibe and then this black and white. And I did have a couple of black and white pieces that would kind of go with my theme, but it wasn't really, not really. They also had a really pretty wreath though that said peace on it and it was all black and then it had some garland on it or bells or garland and bells. I almost said barland, but you know what I mean. And, uh, oh, they also had this really cute snow globe thing that had Santa with the reindeer. Uh, you hit the button and all the snow comes up kind of thing. Uh, what else did we see? Oh, we also saw some outdoor stuff, some blow up stuff or just light up stuff. The reindeer uh, and I think they had a dinosaur and I don't know that there was, oh, I did see some Nightmare Before Christmas stuff that I want to mention really quickly. I saw this little set. It was like a little play set thing, or I don't know what, a figurine set thing that was really cute. There was also a Jack Skellington with a Santa hat on, and what else did I see? Uh, there was like a sign, I think, some sort of Christmas sign with Jack Skellington on it. But you know what's interesting about Walmart is they have a way bigger selection of Nightmare Before Christmas on Halloween than they do on Christmas, which is just, I mean, I th I feel like Nightmare Before Christmas is both. I know there's like a huge argument about it, but I feel like it's both a Christmas and a, or Halloween and Christmas movie. But I definitely think it's a Christmas movie. It's for sure Christmas. So you would think they'd have more options for Christmas, but whatever. So um, that's pretty much what we saw though. And I'm home now and we saw what we saw today and not a whole lot. That was my style today, personally. We didn't see a lot of dark holiday decor today. Um, but we saw some items. We saw some black and white items today. The house at Aldi, the Nutcracker at Walmart. We also saw stocking. So there were a few options-ish. So we saw what we saw, and I think that's it for this video. Uh, we'll be back out on the hunt. I'm going back out tomorrow. A whole separate video, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but yeah, this was fun. Now that I'm not in bed with the plague, we can actually go out, do some holiday hunting, and then we've got some decorating to do, so those videos will be coming out, so, um, yeah, anyways, hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, you can give it a thumbs up, say hey, ghoul, hey, down in the comments, because you know I love talking to you, also, let me know your favorite place to shop for holiday decor, or what your themes are this year, let me know down in the comments, anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Again, I wanted to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video, and if you haven't heard of Squarespace before, Squarespace gives people a beautiful and powerful online platform from which they can create their own websites, where you can connect with your audience and generate revenue through gated members only content. You can also manage your members, send email communications, and leverage audience insights, and all on a super easy to use platform. You can also create a community on your Squarespace website with a fully integrated commenting system that allows you to comment, reply, like, and you can also use their powerful blogging tools, which allow you to schedule your post, categorize your post, also share them. Squarespace also offers Squarespace extensions, which just takes the whole Squarespace experience to another level by using new third-party tools that can help you manage inventory if you're selling things on your website, promote products, and streamline bookkeeping. You can also display your posts from your social media profiles directly on your website. If you're wanting to start your own website, whether you're starting a blog or maybe you're selling some products, uh, whatever it is that you need a website for, if you're wanting to try Squarespace, you can go to squarespace.com for your free trial. And then once you're ready to launch your website, you can go to squarespace.com slash Jade Libra to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. So yeah, definitely check out Squarespace if you've been wanting to start your own website. Squarespace is really great, really easy to use. They have a ton of templates to go off of, tons of options to customize your website. So definitely check out Squarespace if you've been wanting to start your own website. Anyways, thank you so much much for watching and I will see you guys next time.